Hello Teach Tweet, my name is Andy Colley and I'm an ICT teacher from somewhere near Manchester. Um, my presentation is about feedback and feed forward. In the last Teach Tweet, Action Jackson reminded us that it's really important to say thank you. Um, and Isaac Newton also said that if I've seen further it's by standing on the shoulders of giants. Now I'm not comparing myself to Isaac Newton in any way shape or form, but this presentation wouldn't be here if I hadn't stood on the shoulders of these two particular gentlemen. There we go. Take Coles and Darren Meads. Give them a follow if you don't already and check out their blogs. They're fantastic. So, on to the presentation. Feedback and feed forward. I want, had to change my habits um, about setting up opportunities for pupils to give peer-to-peer -peer feedback this year. Basically because we know that Hattie tells us that feedback is really important in terms of um, helping learners progress. Um, but teacher feedback, um, due to time, is usually quite limited. It takes a lot of effort, and I know you all give good feedback, but you can't be everywhere. So I wanted to improve my pupil skills of giving each other peer-to-peer -peer feedback to have that extra layer um, of quality assurance, really, before the work reached me. Because this is the sort of thing I was getting before. Um, this is an example from a, a pupil who should be about level 7. And there's not enough care or understanding gone into it. It was a bit of an add-on at the end of the unit really. So I had to change my approach to setting up opportunities for pupils to give peer-to-peer -peer feedback. Um, here's what I did. First of all, I made more time. I decided to take two lessons out of my Year 9 Future Technology unit in order to do it. Once I'd um, decided I was going to use some time, I then was specific about what I wanted the pupils to look for. Um, I wanted them to A, examine each other's work um, as a way of looking for good traits in that work already, and I wanted them to also give specific suggestions for improvement. So I came up with a framework, I say came up with, nicked from Tate and Darren, a framework um, of feedback and feed forward. I've got um, levels of progress, if you will, I've used the solo descriptors here, but you could use what went well, even better if anything you like really. I quite like solo because it does. It means that pupils don't immediately get to their target level and then put the feet up so to speak. And I split the sections for feedback and feed forward so that feedback was specifically for spotting things that had been done well in pieces of work and feed forward was specifically for suggestions for improvement. So after we'd done that we set up the rules for feedback and feed forward based on Ron Berger's public critique rules tough on content, soft on people. It's the work, it's not a personal criticism. And feedback must be kind, specific and helpful. Otherwise it's not quality feedback and it's no good for you. Finally, the banned list of words that you are not allowed to use in your feedback or feed forward without further explanation. This forces the pupils to, ex um, um, to engage excuse me, more deeply, uh, use keywords and so on um, more often. So. What happened? Well, I'll let you have a read of this, but if you look at that red word, some quality arguments about the validity and quality of feedback and feed forward given. Yeah, they were calling each other over to say, what does this mean? Why have you said this? To clarify understanding, it was great. The WIFM, what's in it for me? They could see that by giving quality feedback, they could improve their work, they could get higher levels. And they did get higher levels. There were more levels and sixes and sevens in this unit than there were in the previous one. And I'm starting to change their habits. Look, this pupil here has realised that they're breaking the uh, tough on content, soft on people rules by saying you instead of the information. So they've changed it. And here, there's a really nice specific wet, specific section mentioned um, as a piece of feed forward. So you should do this in this section. Another example, some great feed forward for how to re how to present information that was presented as just big block paragraphs. So what's next? Well I need to be clearer on my frameworks and clearer in explaining to the students how to use them um, as well as clearer in my explanations of the difference between feedback and feed forward. This is about the fifth take I've done of this to try and get it right for you so I'm, I need to I need to clarify it for myself first even more so. And I'm nicking this from John Bridgman, um, the so that in feed forward. The work should, you could change the colours of this on your work so that 
pupils will have to engage more deeply again, and I think that's a really good idea. I'm going to use solo symbols, not words, um, and I'm going to keep trying. So that's where I'm at. My name's Andy Colley, and I welcome your feedback and feed forward on what I've been up to. Thanks, and have a good night.